Oh, head rush. Where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And how the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. <sighs> right. Friendly fire it is. Shit, where's the nearest store again? <sighs> Set your GPS from the map in your hub. Hub? It's like a digital information pad. You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days? Cool. <laughs> Can I play games on it? No. You, you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zin systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. How was that big dome? Hmm, not sure. We'll have to look into that. Zinyak put his people all over the city here. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. You've got to be enjoying this. Just a little. Yo! This makes getting... You think the whole White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultra to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few underground jet hangers. Are you serious? Well, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? Yeah, I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> wow. Uh, are we sure buying guns is something I'm allowed to do here? I don't know. Do you remember how to shop for yourself, or did being president make you too good for that? Hope you got something useful, because the cops are swarming your location. Uh, haven't they heard of the Second Amendment? Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution holds any weight here. So now what? I just keep my head down until you can pull me out of this place? Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the President's up for killing a few more aliens. I thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. You're just not good at subtle. True. Why is every... Hey guys, you looking for me? Just kill them and leave already. Time to lay low for a bit. Use my warehouse. It's not far. Uh, isn't there a nice hotel or something I can use instead? What's wrong with my inner sanctum? Oh, no, no, nothing. Nothing at all. I really can't afford it. You lucky you didn't have me. Guess me. Uh, Kinsey? All your stuff's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... Uh, 
and there's no more safe houses for us in the city. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any hope you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. And the sooner the better. There seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things, and where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um... Okay. I want Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. Think I got one, Kenzie. You sure this thing's safe? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Oh, I love this song. Come on, Kenzie, sing it with me. No. I don't think so. Oh, come on! I'll even let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. Now your turn, come on. And you know, it ain't fiction. Come on! No. Kinsey, that's an order from your president. Fuck that. This is why we aren't closer. All right, got another. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I know I'm gonna regret this, but... How is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Ah, we're talking the same language. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. It's better than everyone! So, if these data thingies... Ugh, clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? N never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Holy shit! Zinyak destroyed my apartment! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, I've always thought it had character. That should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Feels awesome! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers.
What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. Whoa! This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be chill. Just try it. Fun, but I want something more challenging. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Perfect. I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck. Ew, she looks like my boyfriend's ex. What's all this stuff here anyway? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. Did that mean something to me? <sighs> It means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It did the first time I said it too. You know I love you, Kenzie. Lies. Traffic. These hotspots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which, of course, is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. So, what exactly is a hotspot? Basically a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. Is this the only one? Of course not. Jesus, would you look at the size of that thing? Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console.
Guess I just pull these out. See who these hacking skills when brute strength works. Um, I'm showing some strange readings close to you. Okay, fiery sky and rain can be good. What the fuck is that thing? I don't know, but it isn't reading like a normal thing. I think... I think you can integrate your code with it. And that means what? It means once you take him down, get close enough, and I think you can absorb him. Yeah, because I want that inside me. Nothing. Whoa, now that's a rush. Hey, it worked. Yes, bravo. Perhaps my wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. Forget about him, Kinsey. How about setting up one of those training rooms for me? I think I can do that. So what did I get, huh? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Please let it be bone claws. Whoa! Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. <laughs> that sounds awesome! Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Hold on, hold on. Are you putting in people who will try to kill me? Don't worry, these are safe programs. You can't die from them. Did that guy skip combat training? This. It looks like data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Oh, shit! Hell of an entrance there, guy. I'll see if I can help with that. Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. Hold on. It looks like Zinyak added a shield to the warden code. I guess he pissed him off. What else is new? So how do I get around it? You'll need something more powerful than a weapon. So use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him. See? That works pretty well. Though the real thing might be a bit tougher. <laughs> <laughs> 